one, so we're building a car assistant on my like, Apple Watch. The reason we build it is because as a grow warrior, like we always want to be able to track expense like right away, and that's a uh, that's a big problem. Like, expensing is always a big problem. You don't want to like wait for a month to expense it. So we use the Mojo API, which is a connected car device that can tell me always the trip that happened right away. And from the moment I get out of my car, I know that I have the trip recorded. I can come to my watch without even taking out my phone and say that, okay, this trip is a business trip. So, so for example, we see that there is no expense report here. We are going to do a simulation of a trip uh, with Mojo Simulator. Uh, so we can see the so this is just a simulator because you can access the real device. And look, right now we are tracking. Whenever the trip is done, uh, we automatically are going to be receiving like a notification that the trip has completed. And then we have the choice of making expense report or uh, dismissing the expense report. If we choose to make the expense report, then basically uh, we are uploading the expense report uh, directly to Concur uh, to be able to uh, uh, you know, track that. Okay, so a trip just finished. So a trip finished. We, got we just we got get out of the car. The trip was finished. We don't want to, as a roll worry, I don't want to constantly pick up my phone. So I just see, I, I want to be able to do it on my Pebble Watch and submit this expense to Concur okay. right away. Cool. So the uh, mileage expense has been reported. And then we can go and check here if we refresh Concur. We see that we have like a, a posted from Pebble. Let me just make that a bit bigger. Posted from Pebble here, and then if we select that, uh, we have like all the information about uh, the mileage, the time, the address, everything. And not only that, we're also posting to uh, like a database to, trade to be able to do analytics later. And the second part, is, as a salesperson, sometimes I might lose my phone. I leave it my, the phone on my car. And I don't know what to do. Uh, like, where is my car? So we also use uh, the the Nexmo, and the Weak AI is a natural language processing. So I can actually, if I if I don't have my phone with me, I can if I remember the phone number, I can actually ask where my car is. I can text my car. Like it's like talking to my car. He's sending a text message to his car, and his car is gonna reply to him where where he's located. So I'm gonna text out where is my car. So right away, it's going to tell me where the address of my car is. It's going to it's still sending. So let's wait. I can also ask my fuel level. So what's my? Yeah, still sending. Previous fuel level. Okay, so it just come back. Wow. Then you can just tab on it. Then you know where your car is. So so basically, the way this works is like. It's going through Nexmo, which is getting the SMS message. Then it's going to read AI, which does the language processing. And then Mojo knows where the car is. So we grab the information from Mojo and send that back. So now you have like a complete car assistant that helps you with expense reports, finding your car, finding your, you know, you can ask more things like the uh, level of your fuel, things like that. And one more last step, uh, since we've got more time. It's like Mojo, you have this uh, motion sensor, the, the gyroscope. So when something... Okay. Actually, I always want to show that when somebody tow your car, it's going to also sh show it on your watch. Yeah, that's very important because usually when your phone is subscribed to... Uh, there's a security thing, but if you are in the, like a bar, you never hear it, you never feel it. But it's going to vibrate right away when somebody told you before it's going to be You guys yeah. have questions? Yeah, so how does Mojo know 